Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Japan scrambles jets to meet Chinese and Russian warplanes as North Korea missile launches mark end of Quad meeting in Japan. The end of this week's Quad meeting in Japan has been marked by a joint China-Russia air force drill near Japan's airspace and a North Korean ballistic missile test. Japan scrambled jets after Russian and Chinese warplanes neared its airspace on Tuesday, while Tokyo was hosting the leaders of Australia, United States and India. Japan's Defense Minister Nobuo Kishi said. The incident saw Japan convey grave concerns to both Russia and China through diplomatic channels, Mr. Kishi said at a news conference which was broadcast online. He characterized the incident as a likely provocation by both Beijing and Moscow on a day when U.S. President Joe Biden, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, and Australia's newly elected leader Anthony Albanese were meeting in Tokyo. We believe the fact that this action was taken during the Quad summit makes it more provocative than in the past, he said, adding it was the fourth such incident since November. Two Chinese warplanes flew over the Sea of Japan from the East China Sea and were then joined by two Russian warplanes for a flight together toward the East China Sea, Mr. Kishi said. Later, the two Chinese warplanes were replaced by another pair believed to be Chinese which then flew with the Russians on a long flight toward the Pacific Ocean. Anthony Albanese's first order of business as Prime Minister was traveling to Japan to attend a leaders' meeting with the members of the Quad. But what is the Quad and what will they discuss? Read more A Russian reconnaissance plane also flew over the open sea from the northern island of Hokkaido to the Noto Peninsula on Japan's main island. No planes entered Japanese airspace. Just hours after Mr. Biden left the region on Tuesday evening, North Korea reportedly fired three ballistic missiles off its east coast. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said the launches happened in the space of less than an hour, from the Sunan area of the north's capital Pyongyang. North Korea has conducted a flurry of missile launches this year, from hypersonic weapons to test firing its largest intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs for the first time in nearly five years. It also appears to be preparing to test a nuclear weapon for the first time since 2017. Joint exercise According to China's Defense Ministry the joint exercise with Russia was part of an annual military cooperation plan. Russia's Defense Ministry confirmed the joint patrol, which it said lasted 13 hours over the Japanese and East China Seas and involved Russian to 95 and Chinese XENH-6 strategic bombers. Planes from the Japanese and South Korean Air Force shadowed the Russian and Chinese jets for part of the exercise, Russia said. U.S. officials said the move marks the first joint military exercise by China and Russia since Moscow invaded Ukraine and shows the depth of the two countries' alignment. We think it shows that China continues to be willing to closely align themselves with Russia, including through military cooperation, the official said, adding that such actions must be planned well in advance. China is not walking away from Russia. Instead, the exercise shows that China is ready to help Russia defend its east while Russia fights in its west, the senior administration official said. The official added the bomber drill indicated that Russia would stand with China on its territorial disputes with neighbors in the East and South China Sea. Questionable timing It was unclear whether the drills were planned to coincide with Mr. Biden's first trip as president to Asia, where he has visited allies South Korea and Japan, and on Tuesday joined the leaders of Japan, India, and Australia, collectively known as the Quad, for their second in-person summit. China is urging all sides to exercise restraint as it refuses to call Russia's moves on Ukraine an invasion, even as it advises its citizens there to stay home or at least take the precaution of displaying a Chinese flag if they needed to drive anywhere. Read more The four leaders stressed their determination to ensure a free and open Indo-Pacific region in the face of an increasingly assertive China. Beijing and Moscow declared a no-limits partnership just weeks before Russian President Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine, and China has refused to condemn the move. The two countries have conducted such drills in the past, 
including what Russia said was their first joint long-range air patrol in the region in 2019. In August, they held large-scale military drills in China involving more than 10,000 troops. U.S. officials say they still have no indication that Beijing has provided material support for Russia's war in Ukraine, a move they have warned could trigger sanctions on China akin to some of the sweeping measures Washington and its allies have taken against Moscow. Multiple missiles